Hello YouTubers, um, today I'm going to be showing you um, something about the Kick App Messenger. Um, this video is more of a question that I have concerning the app. Um, as you may know, of course, it's available for the Android, um, iPhones, uh, as well as iPod Touches which uh, my main question here today was going to concern uh, the iTouch. Uh, <clears throat> so basically here is Kick. So you can see I have a conversation going. Um, this is a uh, conference conversation with um, about four people including myself. So um, Basically, what the deal is, um, one person in the group is using a iPod Touch. Um, their kick app is on the iPod Touch. Other people, including myself, are on the Android. Uh, this is the LG Optimus. It's kind of outdated, of course. Uh, Virgin Mobile, not so great. Don't recommend it. So anyway, um, <clears throat> the person that's using the iPod Touch... Uh, actually, let me back up a little bit. Um, say, for instance, you send someone a message, right? Um, the message goes to the letter D for delivered. <clears throat> Sometimes, in some cases, I'm sure we've all seen that um, sometimes it's a faded looking D, like, or sometimes, you know, like a gray, you know, shaded color D and sometimes it's like a darker bold color now I'm gonna send this person a message which is using the iPod touch the other people in the chat are not signed into kick I told them specifically to sign out so, so I can see um, what the message uh, looks like when I send the iTouch user a message so here goes I'm gonna type a message and see just gonna say what's up Okay, the message says sending. Okay, as you can see, it went to a shaded looking D. I don't know if you can see it, but the D is shaded. Okay, it's faded. <clears throat> now, my thing is, um, I've read online that, um, I've read online that if the if you send a message and it shows a shaded D, that means that what well, it's always going to be an iPhone user. It doesn't say anything about an iPod user. It says an iPhone user or a Windows Phone user. <clears throat> and it says if it, if you send a message and it goes to a shaded D. That means that the user has received the push notification. I've never owned any Apple products, so therefore I do not know what a push notification is. But that means um, they've received a push notification that they received a message on Kick. When the, um, when the D turns bold or solid black, that means that the user has opened the kick app messenger and seen the messages but hasn't actually opened the message we you know when you open the app you can open it and see a message but when you click on it it's when it says red for like the main screen so that's what i've heard now the the reason why i'm concerned about this is because um, my friends kind of got me on a sting operation for this girl, and he's getting he's getting impressions that she's ignoring him. So I'm not gonna get into her business. I'm just getting on the technical side of it. <clears throat> but anyway, um, this user that is on the iPod has told me personally that. It means, when it goes to a faded D, it means 
there's no Wi-Fi connection. And when it goes to a bold D, it means it found a Wi-Fi connection. And keep, keep in mind, this is through an iPod Touch. This user is using the Kick app through an iPod Touch. Now on the Kick's website, it says, like I said a second ago, that if it shows a faded looking D, it means it, it explains it for I, iPhone users and Windows Phone users saying that they received the push notification but haven't opened the app. When they've opened the app at all, it turns to D. It just says that for iPhone users, so I'm not too sure if that counts for iPod users. Another person also said um, that the same thing with the um, faded D, it also means like the user that I just texted said, um, they said that um, it means they have no Wi-Fi. And when it turns solid D, it means their iPod found a Wi-Fi connection. So if any of this is true, um, if you know anything about this, um, please uh, post your response in the comments section of this video. And uh, thank you for watching.